You know, Chesapeake's squarely an oil and gas company, and we're very good at doing that. Uh, we're not a real estate company. And the opportunity with this RFP is for us to find a world-class partner who does this kind of work. And think about what we did over in Class and Curve a few years ago, where we were very deliberate in identifying a partner who really understands this business. And what we're excited about in our campus, this is a world-class facility, and frankly, it's bigger than we need. Uh, it was built at a time when we were a fully integrated company. We had an oil field service division. We had a midstream division. We had significantly more amount of non-EMP employees on campus. And so it's too big for us. And with 35 acres of undeveloped land, 1.8 million square feet of office space, it is really a unique opportunity here across 26 buildings. And our goal is to find that partner who is going to be able to come up with a plan and be able to execute on something that should be great, not just for our employees and company, but also for Oklahoma City. We're asking the smartest real estate folks, not just in Oklahoma City, not just in the country, but across the world, to come with their ideas. And I know talking to the state and, and city chambers and some folks in the governor's office, they're very excited about it. Oklahoma City is a vibrant community that is growing in a rapid pace. There are lots of companies that are thinking about relocating. And so I think developers are going to look at this as an opportunity, and, and we certainly hope they will. And from Chesapeake's perspective, it's really important to us that we're going to be deliberate in this process and identify a partner who's going to do a really great job of continuing to sort of grow this vision in this area. Sure, I mean, it's, it's a world-class facility. And again, it was, it was built and, and identified and, and designed back in, you know, prior to 2013 uh, in a very different market. Uh, gas prices were significantly higher. And you know, needless to say, we're, you know, we're fortunate to have the amenities that we have now with the fitness center and some campus restaurants, and really you know, great facilities that we're convinced that a developer is gonna come, you know, take a look at and, and have an opportunity. And, and the good thing is our employees are staying here. You know, we're staying in Oklahoma City. This is gonna be our home. We intend for it to be our home. And uh, you know, so our hope is that other, for a long time, Chesapeake has been this sort of vibrant place that our employees have known about, but maybe no one outside has. And so it's a great chance to you know, potentially, you know, get some other people here too. Our current plan is that we still have some employees who are over on the east side of campus, sort of east of Classen. And where our plan is to move everyone over to the west side of campus in the sort of traditional brick building. So our expectation is that in the, um, in the coming months, we'll move everybody over here as we go through this RFP process. I think you think about the land, the east side, the, ex the plan was to continue to grow the, the campus. Uh, and I think the expectation at the time when gas is at four, five, six, seven dollars uh, was that the company itself would be larger uh, than it ended up being. You know, you know, we're excited for the future. You know, we're going to be emerging moments in the, in the near future from, from our restructuring process. And I think we're all very eager to come out of the restructuring process and excited for what's next. We've got an incredible dedicated group of employees. We have strong assets. We're going to come out with an you know, incredible opportunity before us. And I think we're all excited to get going. And uh, you're going to see a lot of passion out of Chesapeake, and I think we're all excited for what the future brings. I, mean, I think it's a fantastic location. I mean, we've got employees who live in Edmond, we've got employees who live downtown. I mean, we really are centrally located. And look, I've only been in Oklahoma City for nine years, but the growth in the city itself has been amazing, and the growth in just in this area between what's happened in Class and Curve. And again, that was a Chesapeake property that we had that, you know, we just didn't know we weren't a real estate company. And so by finding that partner, you look across the street now, you see hotels going up, you see apartment buildings, townhomes, you see the expansion in the brands that Class and Curve has. I mean, it's incredibly exciting for Oklahoma City. And this area and this campus is really a, a central spot for the action that's happening downtown, the continued growth in this area, and then obviously with, with Edmond just a few blocks north.